Hi, I'm Dr. Jessica Shellack. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon with the Texas Back Institute. Spondylosis is a term that essentially refers to the aging of the spine. As the spine ages, we've talked in the past videos about some of the changes that occur with dehydration of the discs, causing the discs to lose some of their shock absorbing function, so they collapse down, and then the back part of the disc kind of bulges into the spinal canal. Once again, it's analogous to a tire that's a little bit low on air pressure. The tire volume still has to go somewhere, it's just not as tense as it once was. And that's exactly what happens to the spinal discs as we age. Other things that also occur is that with that loss of height, the ligaments in the back part of the spinal canal are no longer under as much tension. So they can actually buckle and push into the spinal canal. So other changes that occur that are part of the spondylosis spectrum, the connector joints, which are called facets, they become arthritic, more bone grows, so bone spurs can form, and that can also contribute to spinal stenosis, which is one of the presentations of spondylosis or spondylotic changes. So really spondylosis can happen throughout the spine. It does happen throughout the spine as we age. It happens in our neck, our mid-back, and our low back. But for the most part, symptoms occur in the upper and lower parts of our spine. So in our neck and our low back, just because of the mobility in these areas, that's what typically will result in symptoms for patients that ultimately end up in an office visit here. Spondylosis, meaning aging of the spine, doesn't necessarily imply that you will need any treatment at all. In fact, for the majority of patients, spondylosis goes with essentially some occasional aches and pains that we all chalk up to getting older, maybe a couple days here and there where you modify your activities or take a few extra Tylenol or Advil and go on with your life. It's really more rare for patients to have significant changes that lead to arm pain or leg pain, stenosis, herniated discs, all of the conditions that we talked about that may lead a patient to come in to be seen. But for the most part, spondylosis is, again, a normal part of the aging process that is pretty minimally symptomatic and often can be managed with just conservative treatments. And certainly if spondylosis gets to the point where it's truly symptomatic and refractory to conservative measures, there are probably surgical options that would be um, specific to a particular patient.